everyone, this is Ginger from My Sister's Scrapper. I have a little Christmas mini album I want to share with you today. This um, is a real kind of cutesy mini album and I created this using the Doodlebug Designs 6x6 um, six six paper pad and the collection is called North Pole. Um, it's got some cute little images on it, some snowmen and reindeer and um, anyway, little birds and so it's pretty cute. I didn't buy any embellishments that go, that coordinate with this uh, paper line because my local scrapbook store didn't have any left. All she had was just the paper. So I kind of got creative with my embellishments. So you'll see in a minute here what I did. Um, on the front cover, I used my um, Cricut and I cut out um, the little bird here and the word joy. And that's from the new Create a Critter 2 cartridge. And um, the bird, I think I cut him out at three and a half inches. And this is cut at I think at two and a half inches, but I'm not sure. Um, on the back here for the label underneath, I used my Cricut again, and I used Elegant Edges to um, to cut the little uh, label so the this would sit on it, so it would pop off the uh, the design paper here. I did use one sheet of twelve by twelve, and that I did purchase um, for the to cover my front covers. It's chipboard cover, chipboard back, and I used my cinch for the binding. Um, on the spine, I tied some uh, really pretty Christmas ribbon that um, I found, and it was, had wire in it, but I pulled the wire out just to make it a little more, so it wouldn't the wire wouldn't stick out on the end. So I just pulled the wire out here and tied a big bow here. And then I had gotten this, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Christmas ornament at the dollar store that had these jingle bells on it, and I took it all apart. And um, anyway, I tied these little jingle bells here on the on the O wire. So I thought that was kind of cute. And I did add a bunch of bling to the cutout here. I used my Tim Holtz Distress Inks in, um, I think I used frayed burlap and gathered twigs, and I also used uh, Festive Berries, which is one of his seasonal ones. And around the green, I did use the uh, Mowed Lawn, which again was one of his summer seasonal collections. I added some bling to the bird's eyes um, and to this little bow, and this was actually the inside cut out of this little wreath here, and I thought the bird needed a bow, so. And it's some more bling around on the wreath. This is a piece of that same Christmas ornament that I had taken apart, these little silver metal leaves, and I added um, some red bling here and a little uh, large silver bling in the middle. And then I used these little pens that I had. They're like jelly roll pens to add a little uh, color here to the, the, uh, the wings and the little bird's tail. And then I took a little Sharpie and made little eyelashes. So that's a little girl bird. And I have a little package that I created here, and I put all this up on some dimensionals um, just to make it pop off of the page. So you open it up, and on the inside front cover, I made a little side pocket here, and I had some scraps left over, so I just made three little tags, and I used my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and uh, attached some ribbon, and they're just plain on the back. And then these little stickers here, these three little snowflake um, dimensional stickers are from my mind's eye that I had gotten as a gift when I bought something from uh, one of the online companies. They sent it to me as a freebie. And this little ornament sticker is actually from We Are Memory Keepers, and it's from, I think it's called Yuletide, their Yuletide collection. Um, so that's the inside front cover. On the first page, there's um, five pages in here, and the pages are all created with uh, the long, uh, number 10, the long skinny envelopes. And what I did was I just um, folded it so that I would have a pocket here on the side, and then I would have a pocket here. And then I would have a pocket on the top, like this. So in order to not, the binding was kind of an issue. I wasn't sure how to do that. So what I did was I took a strip of the red cardstock, and my envelopes were red. And um, I added a binding edge piece so to punch the holes in, so I wouldn't lose any of the inside space for my pockets. Again, I have another sticker here. Um, these two, these three stickers are actually from the same sticker sheet as this from my mind's eye. And then over here, <clears throat> excuse me, I have another little tag, and I used some of the We Are Memory Keepers Extra Large Eyelets in the red, and then I again I tied some more of that ribbon that I had left over. So the tags are plain, so those go right inside here. So you have a side pocket here, and then you have a little pocket here for another photo mat, front and back. And you can put a cute photo here if you want. And then I have the pocket at the top. So the pockets at the top, they're all solid red on one side, and then there's design paper on the other. And then I used my Stampin' Up! Tab Punch for the tabs, and I added some little, um, I found these snowflake brads in my stash, and I put those on there. So I thought those were kind of cute. 
So you flip the page and on the back page again you have um, a large place for a photo here. I did do a decorative strip here at the bottom so you could if you wanted because I didn't glue it all the way down. You could stick a little photo in here or a little tiny tag or something. So that's open. <clears throat> so these go back in right here. And I did use my circle punch and make a half circle just so the snowflakes would show a little bit more. So over here I have a little sticker that's a reindeer. and I, That's again from um, We Are Memory Keepers uh, Yuletide collection. And then I have again the photo mat for this one. And all my photo mats are white with design paper on them because my pages were a red base. I wanted to offset it a little bit. And then again um, another tag here. And again, you would have room here to put a nice little photo there if you wanted as well. Flip the page over. And again, there's a space here. So you can stick a little tag or something in here. Not a lot of room, but there's enough here. And this is a Martha Stewart um, doily lace punch right here. And again, the large tag at the top. So you can get quite a few photos. I love the little snowman paper. I thought they were darling. I was going to put a snowman on my front cover, but I couldn't find a cute one that I liked in my Cricut cartridges, and I thought the little red bird he matched pretty well. Over here, again, I have another little sticker from the We Are Memory Keepers. It's a stocking. They're kind of embossed, so they're kind of cool stickers. And then um, another photo mat here. So this is kind of a plain little, not a lot of embellishment in here because, you know, they're Christmas, and you got lots of Christmas photos you want to put in here. And then there's the little tag. Love the gray. It's darling. And you flip it over. Again, there's that cute snowman paper, and then again, the little label here, the, or the um, edge punch at the bottom, and another tag here. And on this page, again, I added some more of those stickers from the My Minds Eye collection, um, and I did add the, not, no, this did have the bling already in it, so those were the same. Um, it says Noel here, and then again, you have another photo mat. And a place for a photo. Love the little scene with the snowman, the little North Pole sign, the little bird, and the reindeer is really cute. And another little side pocket here for a tag. Solid red on the back. Flip it over. Again, the stripe paper. Again, the doily uh, lace edge punch on the bottom. I just did it in white so it would pop off the page here. And then again, a large photo mat here with the um, snowflake brad in the middle. Love the gingerbread man. He's again another sticker from one of the sticker sheets um, for the We Are Memory Keepers Yuletide. And again, another photo mat. Love the plaid. And a little candy. And the last page, there's the um, tag for this one. And you flip the page over. Love the polka dots. This was actually one of the um, 12 by 12 sheets. I think I used two 12 by 12 sheets for the um, front and back covers. Again, this is open so you could stick a little tag there if you wanted along with a large photo here. <clears throat> and here is the photo mat in here. And again, the little um, snowflake brad. And here's the back inside cover. I love the back inside cover plain because I really like this paper with all the little birds on there. And it kind of, that's why I put the bird on the front because the back inside cover had this cute little bird paper. So that's my little mini album. And then there's the back cover. It's the red and white polka dot. With my jingle bell. So I think it turned out really cute. It'll be cute to put, um, you know, Christmas morning pictures um, in it of the grandkids. So that's my little mini album using the number 10 envelopes and they were red. So there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.